speed you're receiving. So let's see what they come up with whenever they check the speed. They should be able to check the speed automatically, guys, because by using their router, I'm connected to their network because I'm with them, and they should be able to tell the speed by looking at their server what I'm actually getting on their computer. So don't let them tell you any different. So. I've told them I've already done the tests, but I'll do another one, because you have to work with them. Don't give them the easy way out. Now he's writing something in there, so let's see what he writes back. And his nickname is uh, MOBAN24, and he gives me, enter that in the address bar, and click go. Well, let me say, okay, now if I lose it, I have to go back again though. So he wants me to highlight this, and he says, do a speed test, bt.com, right? And he wants me to put that in the address bar, right? Now, I'll be smarter than what he is, guys. I'll open another browser and do it through another browser, so I don't lose him. He makes think he's pulling the wheel over my eyes, but he's not. So because I have another browser here, let me go to... Uh, Google. And then let me do a BT test, right? Now he's asked me to basically, guys, do a BT test with next change. BT test. Now let me tell him to hold on while I'm doing it. Please hold on. Why, why do it? Oh, what do you get now? Now, I'm now going to do a test, a BT test, but it'll ask me now with BT test to put my telephone number in. So basically, BT test, you put your telephone number and you click go. Now, I'll copy it and put it in for him so he can't say nothing. You know what I mean? So now I'm waiting on the BT test. And I'll tell him to hold on while I'm doing it. Please hold on. Right, I'm still waiting on the test. I'll pull them in during the test and ask them to hold on, right? So let's see what happens. I'll put in my telephone number in and I'm doing a BT test. Now this is automatically logged on BT Exchange system. And I'm still waiting on it loading up. Alright mate, I'm doing a, a thing here with uh, AOL because I'm talking to AOL Live Help. It took me 17 minutes, guys, to get through them, okay? So this is a great service that we get from our ISPs. Now it's asking me to, to type in my login name. Because he has asked me to... Russell UK, 99. Wait a second, guys. Okay, what I'm trying to say, if anybody's just come into the room. Rob on speed today is crap. It took me 17 minutes to get through to AOL Technical Support. Now they've asked me to do a BT test for him to find out what speed I'm getting. Now I've done three. I've sent them three emails within a half an hour. They haven't replied. So they already have the details, but you have to go along with them here and uh, see what they say. Now, I know what he's going to come up with after I give him the test results. He's going to tell me it's going to take 24 hours or 48 hours before BT get it sorted out. Which is a load of covers, guys, because it's the ASP can turn the speed up and turn it down when it suits them. Now, I'm not paying these guys £25 a month for peanuts. I'm paying them for a service. So, guys, don't walk away till another ASP. Stand your ground and let them see you're not stupid. So, the test is going ahead and doing it at the moment. Now, obviously, I'm streaming, but I will allow for that. And they said my 
configuration download 3 out speed for this service is 700 KB. Now I've just done the test, okay? Now the download stream is 448 KB PS. An upload stream, my line is 7 guys, I'm allowed up to 7, which I knew you had anyway. So I'll copy this results here, right? And hopefully I can paste it into this chat room until I'm going to let them see it. Now, I'm going to have to write it in manually. Uh, and you can see my writing and he's not stupid. Your DSS 